Hello and welcome to another episode of Danarchy. Today we'll be playing the Chinese expansion of Assassin's Creed in a 32-bit platform, which is a 2D platformer or uh, I don't even know what to call them type games. Uh, so not a normal Assassin's Creed setup like you're used to. Uh, this is more of a mini game or a shorter game compared to the the normal ones. Uh, it came out just after the Assassin's Creed 3 Kings DLC dropped like um, and then it dropped like two months later but we'll jump right into it China 1526 it has been two years since the Zhang Yang the leader of the corrupt group of urchins known as the Tigers wiped out the Chinese Brotherhood of Assassins these Tigers are Templars and secretly run China from the shadows using the Emperor as nothing but a puppet Xiao Jun, one of the few survivors, has returned under the orders of Wang Yangming, the new leader of the assassins. Together, they plan to hunt down the tigers and free China from its Templar control. They return to their old home, the Mahjong Gartos, once, once an assassin stronghold. Now, it is a Templar prison run by Gao Fen. To get close to their target, Xiao Jun allows herself to be captured. She carries a precursor artifact given to her by Ezio Auditore, knowing that the Templars will want answers about the artifact and ensuring her imp imprisonment. The box is empty, or should I say, incomplete. Where is the rest of it? We know who you are. We know who you were. You've come far for someone who was merely once a concubine. I will ask you again, assassin. What is this box? Where did it come from, and what is its purpose? Why continue to resist us? Look around you. No one is coming. We wiped out your order. There is no escape from here. Why would I want to escape? I am exactly where I want to be. Such arrogance! Ma Yong Cheng will make you talk. Let him try. No wonder your kind fell so far. My kind isn't done yet. Sorry about the uh, little steam pop up in the corner. Um, Time to get out of this cage. We'll jump right into gameplay here. This is what I meant by 32 bit. Like, there is no 3D roaming. But we'll jump right into play. Uh, I have. I think I played a tiny bit earlier. I think I played. I know I played a tiny bit earlier because I wanted to make sure that my volume was set up correctly. So, huh? if I kind of run through this first part, you know why. <laughs> so, there's the alert system. This is, this is definitely a nice change to the typical Assassin's Creed pace. My biggest thing is they need to slow down on how many games they're making because one a year or so is too many. Like, if you think about it, think about how nice GTA would have been if they just waited another year and that the they would be completely finished and Heist would have been out right away. That would have been way better. But, you know, it happens. They, they wanted to get their game released when they said they would release it. They pushed it back some, but... They realized that they're just gonna release it because it was it was really big hyped. But the Assassin's Creed, I believe, did really well, really really well, right up until the um, the fourth one, which is the what is that? The Black Pirates or wh whatever it's called. I don't remember what it's called exactly, but uh, you do a lot of pirating, uh, and it's it was a nice fresh step into it, but. Unity was kind of a letdown. I didn't really like it. It was the story was absent and kind of lazy. It was 
more of a love story than anything. Like they they did have uh, where it connected in the uh, the actual other events, but I thought it was lazy. It could have been done much better, and I thought it was a waste of the revolution because that could have been a really 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 interesting one. And campaign definitely should have been a lot longer and. The love interest seemed to suck up more of the story than anything. And when I play Assassin's Creed, I I want to know, I want to know about the ancient artifacts, the world before. You know what I mean? And they kind of stepped away from that. And Unity, and I didn't, I just didn't like it as much. But I did like Rogue. But it was uh. <sighs> was better. It was much better than uh, the other one. It was a nice, that was also a nice change of pace, having to go against the uh, assassins for a change. It was very interesting. And the ship factor, I'm glad they kept it because that was very, very fun. Ever since the third one, ships have been a de pretty big part and I absolutely love playing with the ships. They're just straight up entertaining. But enough on Assassin's Creed. Not enough on Assassin's Creed. We're playing Assassin's Creed. That's what we all be talking about. But, uh, I do also have, if you guys would care to see, throw it in the comments, I do have all of the Assassin's Creed's and would be completely willing to play them all again because I absolutely love this game. Ooh. Brutal. <laughs> the classic Russian shoe spike. In China in 19 or 1852 or 1550 82. I don't, I don't even remember what the date was now that I think about it. What is the point? Of, oh, I'm supposed to move this body. Oh, yeah. I screwed that up. <laughs> While I was talking, I wasn't reading. It happens. That's fine. We'll run through this part real quick. I do. I absolutely love like older school games though like playing a quick 32 bit or so see I didn't even read that that's how sad that was and yet they even showed the giant B button right there how sad is that okay so keep on going and pick up our first weapon which is a sling, I believe. Let me get a quick assassination. Oh, was that a was that the rope dart? I, I didn't even know. Pick this up, and then are we not? Am I doing something wrong that it won't let me open this chest? Oh, I'm supposed to. Okay, I'm supposed to hide the body in that chest. I see. Well, we know now. We know that uh, I don't understand that concept. <laughs> it's cool that they show the sound bubbles of everybody. Classic 32-bit style. On the wall. Huh. But I will definitely do this let's play for you guys. Uh, I would absolutely love to do maybe a little bit more world warships. Uh, I've been working on my War Thunder, I'm getting closer to the IS-3, I've probably said this like 900 times. Run over here, jump in. Uh, other games I want to do, I have the Metro series I want to do. I should finish my Bioshock Let's Play, which I didn't really go very far with because nobody seemed to watch them. Um. Other than that, I have no idea what I want to do. Okay, so LB, and then we want to... Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go, we got him. <laughs> just run across. We'll just huck those up there and run away. Never see us coming. Um, I don't know if there's any other games I really want to do right now. Talking. Just completely lose their awareness. It's okay. Look at that. No idea. Oh, don't want to miss this. 
哼， that's awesome. You just walk right by. Guys, turn around is what we want to do. First one, second one. And then now we wait. Uh, definitely just gonna let these guys pass and we're gone. <laughs> Get some more firecrackers or whatever these things are. Um. Been, it's been an interesting week, though, for me. I went and bought a car, which Little was interesting. Um, I got it for the price I wanted, so that was cool. Uh, I what else did I do this week? My my current vehicle has been being a pile. I think okay, we want okay, we don't want to throw these. We want a whistle. We want to wait for these guys to go away, and we'll whistle over here, and then this guard will turn around. Huh? Right? And so we... Oop. <laughs> Don't even notice us. Look at it, he's investigating over there still. It's hilarious. And then... We're gone. Simple as that. And we have our sword. Cool. So... Can begin now. This will be a good place to stop. I'll see you guys next episode. Thank you for watching. Comment and subscribe.